It's our last morning seeing this beautiful view every day. That's where the fountain show is every night. It's been so fun seeing the fountains too. I can never get tired of waking up to this view, it's so nice. One of my favorite parts of being here. And this is the path that you take to come into the hotel, which is so beautiful. We were driving in from the airport, it was just so beautiful coming in here. And then you see all of this, and then underneath there is where you walk into the main lobby and check-in area. But ever since you walk in, you just see like over there, I think it already says Bahamar, and it just looks beautiful already. Good morning, it's travel day and I'm wearing my same airport fit that I wore on the way here So I'm 100% ready, now I'm gonna go eat breakfast We still have time by the way, checkout is at 11 and it's like 10 So we got plenty of time to eat and just calmly make our way down Then we're gonna be walking around the hotel for a little bit Until it's time for us to get into the taxi to go to the airport So yeah, so right now that's how things are going And by the way, I wanna show you guys what I've been leaning you on this whole time that I've been talking here in the bathroom So it's this little thing right here that inside has like Q-tips and stuff like that um, so I've been leaning you guys right there and then the mirrors back here and this is the sink and everything so that's what I've been leaning you guys on eating our last breakfast in the Bahamas we're eating leftovers okay we're leaving the room and we already checked out and now we're on our way down to actually leave the hotel you guys everybody say bye bye, bye Bahamas bye Bahamas we had so much fun now it's time to go downstairs bye Bahamas Room. Okay. Time to go. We're all ready to go. We made it down to the lobby. My dad went to go figure out a car, like a taxi to take us to the airport. We didn't end up walking on the beach because you know the mornings are just really crazy when you're about to travel, so we didn't do that. Yeah, so now we're just ready to go. We made it to the airport super early and we thought we were gonna have so much time but these lines were so long so it took us forever. Okay, we're getting ready to board the plane. The plane ride started off so beautiful. Here you can see the Bahamar from the plane. So that was really cool to be able to see that. Like I said, the plane ride was going pretty good. Um, there was a couple of bumps here and there. Here I'm having a little drinky drink with my mom. Oh, and I saw like a couple other planes in the sky at the same time as us and that always feels a little weird. But then things took a turn and I did not get any footage because I was so scared. So this is like in between all the bumps and everything when we had we would have like five minutes of like a little bit of a break and i was literally terrified it was so scary i explained the whole thing later on in the video but as we started to get a little bit closer to our destination it did start to get a little bit better but even the landing and everything was so bumpy it was just overall a bad plane ride we landed finally we're in the airport on land i've never been happier to be on land I'll tell you guys more about it later but that was not a good flight it's not a good flight at all we are getting our car because we parked it here, but man, that flight was not good. That flight was one of the worst flights. Well, our flight to Egypt was worse, but that flight was a horrible flight. Oh my God. Yo creo que el viaje fue muy bueno. Lo que pasa es que no hemos viajado por muchísimo tiempo y todo nos asusta, pero el viaje fue bueno, un poco bumpy también porque estábamos en el último.
It would not stop shaking. The whole flight was like, it took off nice and smooth. We were like, it's gonna be a good flight. It was better than the other flight, that, how it we took thought. off. We thought, the way it took off, we are like, oh, it's gonna be better than the last flight. That last flight apparently was way better because it was just smooth the whole way. The takeoff was super bumpy, but then once we were in the air, it was like smooth the whole time. The whole entire time. And this time it was like, maybe we would have like five minutes of not like even. calm, but not even. And then so much bumpiness. L luckily, no drops. That's the only thing no I'm talking about. I started crying. I was on the verge of crying, but I didn't. I was crying. I cried twice. I was so scared. I couldn't. I was clenching the sides of my seat <laughs> so hard that like I feel weak right now. My neck started to hurt. <laughs> I'm so happy. I've never been happier to be on land. Anyways, thank God that we made it. We made it and I'm not flying again. That's to recover from that horrible plane ride, we went home, freshened up a bit, and then went to go get some food because we were so hungry. And just like that, we are back home. Last time I updated you guys, we had just gotten off the flight and it was... It was rough. I was so happy to just be on land. Now, obviously, I feel better. It's been a couple hours, so I feel better. But we went, um, we came home, changed and everything, freshened up and all that. We got some Chipotle to eat because we didn't have any food at home. We had dinner together. And then now I'm back home and, yeah, ready to go to sleep. I'm so tired. I'm literally exhausted. The trip isn't even long. It's just, like, the whole day of, like, going to the airport and waiting and lines. And, like, when we went to the airport in the Bahamas to come back home, the line for the TSA was so long. The people in the Bahamas were telling us, like, make sure you get to the airport with three hours, you know, in advance because of, like, the long lines and everything. That's what we were planning to do anyways, pretty much. But I'm so happy that they, like, told us that because it really was that long. Like, we were, like, there three hours early, even maybe a little bit more, and it literally took us, like, so long to get through TSA, all the different securities, all that, and everything. By the time that we got to our gate, it was already time to board. Like, they were literally boarding our group already. So, yeah, but overall, it was such a nice trip. It was a beautiful trip. I, that flight honestly kind of scarred me right now. I feel like I never want to fly again, but I know that'll, like, fade away in a little bit. I'm already, like, you know, super excited to be able to go back to the Bahamas at some point. So, anyways, but that flight really did <laughs> terrify me. But um, overall, it was a great travel day. It was good. Besides that, the flight itself, it was a good day. Um, but yeah, I'm so happy to be home. It feels nice to be home in my my space and everything and I can't wait to sleep in my bed tonight like that's the one thing that I do miss when I'm on vacation I miss always just having a good night sleep in my bed but honestly I already miss the Bahamas just like the weather there it was so beautiful super hot but I love the heat so I don't mind it was super humid our climate here is kind of humid anyway so I'm kind of used to the humidity but it was a lot more humid there but it's just so beautiful and staying at the Bahamar was just like such a dream come true it's somewhere that I had been wanting to go for a while so such a dream that we were able to go there must be on vacation I don't know there's just something about vacation where like even your mind is just like you really like take a break so I'm, I'm so happy that we were able to take that vacation because I just feel so refreshed and I just love being on vacation and like only thing you're like really worrying about is like what you're gonna do the next day or what you're gonna do that day what time you're gonna go down to the pool those are like vacation problems or vacation thoughts you know so like, i really miss that already um but you know it's back home back to reality but i'm happy to be home and super excited to go back to the beach at some point so so we have to plan our next trip but yeah thank you guys so much for coming along on all these bahamas vlogs don't forget to hit that subscribe button give this video a like if you enjoyed it and more videos coming and i'll see you guys in the next video bye